So when comparing the Surface 3 versus the Surface 3 Pro, it's really putting casual users versus power users. Are you a casual user that can use the Intel Atom quad-core processor with two and four gigabyte options in the Surface 3? Or are you doing a little more power that you can get with the Surface 3 Pro with the fourth generation Intel Core i3, i5, or i7 processors with four or eight gigabyte RAM options? Does the Surface 3 1080p 10.8 inch display satisfy you or you can need something a little bit bigger at 12 inches and a quad HD that the Surface 3 Pro offers? And how about the angle to view those beautiful displays? Your kickstands are going to be different here too with the Surface 3 having a three stage kickstand and the Surface 3 Pro having a much larger range of a kickstand as you'll see right here as we kind of compare how far they can go back and this can really determine your typing ability and also can determine how you view the screen especially in your lap or on a desk. Now both offer plenty of ports for you with mini display port, full USB port, and also a headphone jack. But the Surface 3 swaps off a proprietary charging port for a micro USB charging port which allows you to use pretty much a phone charger to charge up the Surface 3. As you can see on this side, the button arrangement's a little bit different, but they do keep the same accessory port. Each will have type covers for their size, also styluses, and also docking stations as well too. On the back, they're gonna keep eight megapixel cameras along with micro SD card support, traditional storage. The Surface 3 goes up to about 120 gigabytes built in, while the Surface 3 Pro can go up to 512 gigabytes built in. So as you can see here, these are two very, very powerful tablets. It's really all about the casual user versus the power user. So which one are you? Let me know in the comments. Is the sleek style of the Surface 3 just enough for you? Or do you need something that's a little bit more powerful with the Surface 3 Pro? So let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.